All right, so for the past year, I've been going back and forth with the following question. Will AI replace programmers? I mean, ever since ChatGPT came out, it seems like the conversation's all over the place. And obviously, everybody has an opinion on this topic. Some people say we're all doomed, and others say, don't worry about it, we'll be fine. But what do I think? What is my honest opinion? It's just a matter of time. I mean, there's a couple of questions we have to answer when we're talking about this topic. When will AI be able to analyze the documentation pages of every single programming language? They can do that now. The next step is when will AI be able to ingest all the open source projects that are out there? Well, we already know that answer. It's been there and it's done that. So the next step for AI is that it has to take the prompts that a person gives it and create a fully functional production ready project. And it's not there yet. I mean, just off the top of my head, these are some of the steps that the AI would have to do. It'll have to take the prompts that the person gives it and from there determine what programming languages it'll have to use to develop that project. And it's probably gonna be a combination of languages. And then in my belief, it's probably gonna have to spin up a virtual machine in order to create a developer environment. From that point, it'll have to create some demos and not just templates. It'll have to test the functionality, the features of that project. For a website, it'll have to generate some images and some text. AI is already really good at that. But the thing is, it'll have to do this without baking the planet because we know the amount of resources it takes to power AI models. It's a lot of power they need. I mean, I think they're triple timing it on nuclear fusion at this point. So based on that, we're not there yet. Programmers and developers are safe for now. But what does the CEO of GitHub say? And this is important because we know that GitHub has GitHub Copilot. And the goal of it is to be your AI pair programmer. Well, the CEO says, despite AI gains, demand for software developers will still outweigh supply. The GitHub CEO considers AI and software development to now be inextricably linked, powered by assistive tools such as Copilot. And he goes on to say that the AI revolution won't be the death knell for the software development industry. He says the demand for software developers will continue to outweigh the supply. Then he says that AI tools like Copilot will simply make developers more productive and not replace them. But what about the future? Let's say a decade from now. He says the amount of software in 10 years is only going to exponentially grow. We have an ever-growing number of lines of code we have to manage. We have an ever-growing number of ideas that we have. And quite frankly, every company is now a software company. He then closes by saying, we have a shortage in computer science students, certainly in the Western world, from Berlin to San Francisco to Sydney. He said generative AI has just created another demand wave where more companies with bold ideas, both small and large, are now thinking about how they can adopt innovative AI into their business model, looking for developers that know how to use open API or train an AI model. So based on that, it sounds like GitHub and Microsoft believe that programmers are gonna be around for a while. But now let's get some empirical data because data matters. In researching this topic, there's a good website that I use and it's called Will Robots Take My Job? So if you go there, you're gonna see that you can enter your job. They also have some of the most searched terms. And for this one, I'm gonna choose computer programmers and we see that the calculated risk is 52%. The website's visitors noted that it's unclear if this occupation will be replaced. And if we look at the growth, it says very slow growth relative to other professions. The number of computer programmers job openings is expected to decline by 10.2% by 2031. And then if we look at the wages, it's very highly paid. Now we know that big companies like to save money and they try to see where they can save money. And we remember that over the past year and change, a couple of hundred thousand developers, programmers, and people within the tech industry have lost their job. So for computer programmers, what's the job description? And can AI fill that role? Based on this, it says, the job description of a computer programmer, create, modify, and test the code and scripts that allow computer applications to run. Work from specifications drawn up by software and web developers or other individuals. May develop and write computer programs to store, locate, and retrieve specific documents, data, and information. So the calculated risk there is 52% for computer programmers. And it shows there's a decline. Between now and 2031, there's gonna be a 10% reduction in the jobs for computer programmers worldwide. But now let's talk about web development and web developers. Here, we see that the calculated risk is only 39%. So that's lower than computer programmers. And for growth, it says it's very fast growth relative to other professions. 
And here it says that we're gonna have a 30% increase in jobs between now and 2031. And the wages here are high as well. Now it's interesting because a computer programmer and a web developer are both programming, they're both developing, they're both creating projects. So why is such a disparity between web developers and computer programmers? Matter of fact, that's a good idea for another video. What's the difference between a computer programmer and a web developer. All right, so the job description for a web developer is this, to develop and implement websites, web applications, application databases, and interactive web interfaces, evaluate code to ensure that it is properly structured, meets industry standards, and is compatible with browsers and devices, optimize website performance, scalability, and server-side code and processes, may develop website infrastructure, and integrate websites with other computer applications. So a lot of that AI can definitely be helpful with, but will it be able to do the entirety of the job? Probably not, at least not for a while. So based on that, we already heard about what GitHub Copilot CEO said. And I've done another video on GitHub Copilot and I've done videos on AI, but just as a refresher, what is GitHub Copilot? Well, by now you probably already know the answer. It's your AI pair programmer. It's been trained on billions of lines of code. GitHub Copilot turns natural language prompts into coding suggestions across dozens of languages. The goal is to help you focus on solving bigger problems. It's supposed to give you AI-based suggestions that are tailored just for you. And of course you can use it for Visual Studio, VS Code, and for JetBrains products as well. So based on that, this demonstrates that GitHub and Microsoft believe that programmers are gonna be around for a very long time. And they believe it so much, they're putting their money behind it. They're investing their dollars. I mean, it's obvious that their goal is to be the number one tool that developers and programmers use. Now, when talking about artificial intelligence and computer programming and developing, I have to include Neuralink. Neuralink is the product that Elon Musk came up with to make sure that humans can be competitive against AI. It's literally a computer in your brain. Basically what they did is create a generalized brain interface to restore autonomy to those with unmet medical needs today and unlock human potential tomorrow. The end result is they're implanting a computer chip in your brain. I mean, that gives a completely different meaning to brain hacks. This is their implant. Our brain computer interface is fully implantable, cosmetically invisible, and designed to let you control a computer or mobile device anywhere you go. Now, in order to do this, they have a surgical robot and they say, the threads of our implants are so fine that they can't be inserted by the human hand. Our surgical robot has been designed to reliably and efficiently insert these threads exactly where they need to be. Who wants to say, me, 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 put a chip in my brain. I mean, what can go wrong, right? Now, if we do get to the point of having a computer chip within our brain, what about combining the next generation of ChatGPT? Think about it, ChatGPT and Neuralink in your brain. I mean, OpenAI right now says they wanna help you brainstorm your ideas. They wanna help you invent. They wanna discover new opportunities with you. They wanna explore ideas and they wanna collaborate. And if you're a designer, well, guess what? It can do that too. I mean, just around the corner, in the next month or so, they're gonna be releasing the next generation of Dolly 3. And they're gonna combine that with ChatGPT. The race is on and OpenAI has a message for you. Let's go! All right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. Share your thoughts and comments down below in the comment area, and I'll see you in the next video.